Reports indicate that gunmen shot up a house and a car in the parish of Westmoreland. The police in Westmoreland are currently investigating an incident in which a man's house, along with a motor vehicle, were shot up by gunmen. The incident took place in a community known as Kings Valley in Morgan's Bridge, Grange Hill, Westmoreland. It has been reported that close to 5.20 a.m., a 26-year-old man was in his house when he heard several loud explosions and realized that his house was being attacked. He managed to escape the house without being injured. It was later discovered that his Toyota Voxy motor vehicle and the house were damaged by what appeared to be gunshots. Police, upon processing the scene, found 16 spent casings. No suspect has been identified in connection with this incident. Reports indicate that a senior citizen was chopped to death. The suspect is in police custody. An elderly man was chopped to death in Morgan's Bridge on Mint Road in Westmoreland. The man has been identified as 60-year-old Dalbert Stepper Jolly. Reports from the police are that close to 4 p.m., Jolly and another man had a dispute when Mr. Jolly brandished a machete. The man managed to disarm him and used the machete to chop him several times. The police were alerted and on their arrival, Mr. Jolly was seen at the rear of a building. He was suffering from chop wounds. Jolly was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. The other man who was involved in the altercation is currently in police custody. The suspect has not yet been charged because the police are still carrying out their investigations. The driver who operates the Cambridge route in the parish of St. James has been fatally shot just a few days after a taxi driver was shot and injured almost at the same location. The deceased man has been identified as Stanley. Reports indicate that the driver was getting passengers when he was shot. The incident occurred on Fish Lane just a few meters from the Barnet Street Police Station. Stanley was rushed to the hospital where he later died. The police are still processing the scene of the incident.